Hi everybody, welcome to Pedro's Happy Place. Today I have just a few things I'd like to share with you. Uh, there's some shout outs that I want to talk about and there's also, well, you know how I do shout outs. I like to just hold the piece of paper up and then I will add um, the information, some links in the description box below so you can just go ahead and click on their channels. The other thing that I want to talk about is for YouTubers or those that use their phone a lot. So we'll get into that in just a minute. I also want to address a couple things that have been shared uh, or that have been asked of me or I might have said. One of them was talking about the cotton yarn. I have not yet uh, tried any color steadfast techniques with the cotton yarn, either the uh, sugar and cream, the peaches and cream, or the, um, the yarn bee. Uh, I love this uh, cotton. So let's go ahead, when I do, I will have a whole other video for that. Let's do some shout outs, shall we? Okay, the first one, I want this, this little young lady. She's a very young lady compared to me. But she is just the most adorable, precious girl. And I love her. I love her to pieces. She's just the most encouraging, caring person. And that is Melissa from Sweet Melissa Makes and More. If you haven't already heard of her, you've got to watch her channel. I love her dearly, and let's support her. She needs our love. Okay, Cindy Moulter. She's got a channel, and she's got a lot of good content out there. People, please go and see what she has on her channel. Lots of yarny goodness. Okay, Jody's Creative Corner. I just found this this past week. Um, again, a, a lot of crochet, but a lot of other things because it's not just crochet with Jody. All right, these are, this is Mary Mary Stories. This lady, Mary, lives in Greece. How awesome would it be to make friends with somebody in Greece? Woo! She's got some great story she tells with her crochet. Go check her out. Okay, and then Wendy Stanberry. Does Stanberry remind you of Canterbury or any of those other stories told in England? Wendy lives in England, and go check her out for some of what she's got in store for you. Hopeful Crafts is Hope Mahoney. Um, she has finally started her own channel and got some good stuff up. Let's see. Oh, another one. Everybody probably knows, but I just love her too. She's, she's just a dear. I love her. She's just su very supportive of everybody. And that's Be Wowed by April Lee. And she has lives and she, she's just a wonderful young lady, young lady compared to me again. Then there is, uh, oh, I like this one. Yet she combines my favorite things. And tr uh, Tracy from um, Crochet Rocks, if you are watching this, you will like her channel. Keto Marnie, the keto crocheter. She shares her keto journey, but she also talks about her crochet projects. Great. Um, if you're just starting keto or you're wanting to learn a little bit more about keto, she actually talks about exactly what she eats for the day and how that journey is coming along. Very interesting. Now, this particular one, well, let's see, I had three. Hold on just, yeah, okay. Then um, this lady right here, Hook Me Up Crochet, her name is Christy, and right now she's holding a silent auction, okay? So I'm going to try to put that specific video in the description box below. She, she does do crochet, but this um, silent auction that she's holding is for some beautiful artwork. And I say beautiful because it is to me, because I know the work that it takes to do this. Um, she uh, was into paper crafts. And I used to do paper, I used to be a scrapbooker for many years and, and I, I did stuff with different mediums and it is, it can get pretty intense, but all of hers 
center around teddy bears. And each one of her things that she has up for auction, and they're all just, you know, just a smaller size, but they're so detailed and intricate that they all have a furry little bear on them. You've got to go check her out. Um, this is this is doing it in support. She doesn't want to ask for anything, but she is unemployed, and this is going to give her a little bit of income. So if you can help support her, that's fine. If you can't, I'm sure she would still appreciate you coming over to her channel. Now, I've got two. Well, even though Keto Marnie wasn't necessarily just crochet, it was Keto as well. I have two more that are non-crocheters, okay? This one is Mama's Little Lambs, and Mama's Little Lambs is a wonderful uh, channel if you're trying to um, just share in your spiritual journey, your godly, um, your growth, your, yeah, just your spiritual growth and your godly character. Um, she, she's really... The way she takes you through um, uh, her own journey, that's what I'm trying to say, hello, takes her through your, her own journey, this would be a great channel for you to watch. This one, you know, if you've seen a couple of my other shout outs, you know I like to shout out our viewers, Liz Amazing, Liz Amazing had been a solo uh, RVer for many moons many moons and she just recently is no longer traveling single i don't know if that's good or bad but if you want to watch her journey please follow her on liz amazing all right those are my wonderful shout outs and of course i watch a whole lot more than that i know that you all probably watch a ton of them and but i am trying to kind of broaden my horizons as far as different YouTube channels and um, as far as crochet goes I'm still doing a, a lot of uh, watching a whole lot of different crochet channels but I am going to start branching off in a more um, specified uh, area and we'll talk about that in another video perhaps Maybe if I have time today, I'm looking at the time, we might have enough time to discuss it today. I don't know. We'll see. So, I've got some questions <laughs> that I really need help with, and I'm hoping some of you might be able to help me out here. Um, I use my phone for everything, okay? I use my phone to film. I use it to watch videos, um, but I'm having issues with it. And just to give you a brief synopsis, it's an LG 5, I think. I think, I think that's what it is. And um, I would need to know from all of you, if you have an LG 5 or a smartphone, that's an LG, um, if you use it for filming, I'd like to know about that, okay? Um, also, if you just have a smartphone, is that what you do your filming on? Um, do you use, I'm, I'm not really asking about uh, iPhones because I know that's a whole different, whole different category. <laughs> and right now I'm just looking into the smartphones. So what I wanna know is that if you are filming, does your phone get like extremely hot? Because mine gets extremely hot and I don't know if it's the battery or if it's the memory because I do know that my memory in my camera right now is very limited. I do have a, a mini SD card that I want to put in especially once I go to Stitch Fest and I'll be using my phone for everything. I do need to have more memory on it. So um, if you've experienced those, those issues, I would really like to know, but I'd really like to know how you fixed it. That's how I want it. That's what I want to know. So anyway, that is my big question for those of you out there that 
make videos using your smartphone. And particularly if you have an um, LG, I, I think, like I said, I think this is a five because I think my last one was a four and I think I just moved up one. It might be a six, I don't know. I'm so illiterate on my phone and I wouldn't even know how to figure it out, to tell you the truth. So anyway, so um, what am I wearing? Hello? I am wearing my beautiful sweater that I made. I am just so, you know, I am this, I think of everything that I have ever made. Um, I'll just say, well, yeah, every and of anything I've ever made. I think I'm more proud of this sweater than anything I've ever made because the fit is just perfect. And I am so glad that I wrote every single thing down that I did with this particular sweater so that I can make another one as long as I use the exact same hook and the exact same yarn. <laughs> I'd used a three weight and I used a five millimeter hook. So I, I'm going to recreate another one of these in a beautiful, I love this shaded, um, you know, this, I love, I love it. I have I have another one, but I'm thinking it might look a little bit too babyish. Let me check. What do you think? It's that ice cream scoop, but it is um, called mint, mint. So it's more like a mint, mint green. So, if you think I could get away with doing a, a sweater in that, or you think maybe, ah, just hold off until you find another patron. Just hold off. Rain it in. I know I'll find some somewhere. I'm sure even in some of this other yarn that I've got, I could probably find some other three weight, maybe. Maybe not enough, but we'll see. So, speaking of this sweater, and uh and yarns and such um i ha i have been doing a little bit of evaluating just kind of like just making some decisions of the direction of my my crocheting um i love y'all you don't know how much i love to crochet um and because i don't really have a life that's, you know, that's just the way it is. I don't have a life. I mean, yes, Mr. Happy, I have Mr. Happy, but um, basically um, he's, he does his thing and I come back here and do mine and and we're happy. <laughs> we're, it makes us happy and, and it, you know, we do spend time together, but from the time I wake up in the morning until the time I have to leave for work, save a couple minutes to get ready for work, I am crocheting. From the time I get home until the time I go to bed, save any time I'm getting ready for bed, I'm crocheting. I, I crochet for hours and hours and hours and I have a full-time job. I help take care of my mom. Now, I, I don't, I don't want to give the impression that I live with my mom and I'm, you know, she is independent enough to be able to live on her own. And I stop by there in the mornings and in the, in the evenings before and after work most times. Sometimes I'll just stop once a day. And uh, I have Sundays and Mondays off, but I usually spend all day Monday with her. And then Sunday is mine. And so um, tomorrow night, though, I, after my live, I'm going to be popping over to Mama's and staying the night with her. And then... Um, spending time with her but even when I'm at her house I always have a crochet project that I take with me that I work on well I'm looking around at everything that I've made and I've been looking in my book and seeing what all I've made and I think I'm going to focus on the 